Good. So uh, let me start with uh, the workshop, which is about uh, communication is what we are going to focus on. Okay. By sharing a small story. Is it okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me start with this story because uh, we all grew up with stories, right? And uh, at least I strongly believe that uh, stories leave a lasting impression and impact on all of us. So let me share with you this story. So the story goes like this. Uh, once upon a time, all stories start with once upon a time. So once upon a time, long ago, uh, much before the advent of technology as we are today, so mobile and GPS and wireless, um, let's visualize that is a word that existed like that. Um, there was a small village, okay, and this small village got hit by a drought. You know what's a drought? You all know a drought, right? Drought means scarcity of water. Barish nahi hota hai. So that's that's a drought. We frequently are facing nowadays. So you'll know that drought is very common. So once upon a time, there's a small village which gets hit by a drought. Now, because there is no rain, uh, water scarcity starts happening. So when there is no water, what will happen? No farming, okay? It impacts the livelihood. Cattle start getting imparted, right? So there is challenge. So what to do? So what do you think will happen? What do we do in such situation? Start eating cattle. Start? Eating cattle. Start? Eating. Start eating cattle. Yeah. Okay. What else will happen? Maybe we will leave the place. Leave the place. We start leaving the place. Okay. Now that's a concern. Where will you go? If there is people's livelihood. Imagine today we are settled here and we have to leave. It's not it's possible, right? So what happens is, there is a tremendous unity amongst the people. In villages, there is always unity. Caste, creed, religion really didn't exist a couple of years ago. People used to happily live together. It's only in the recent years, we have all this caste, creed, religion kind of thing impacting. Take 50 years back, there was no such thing. Right? So, there is tremendous unity. So what they do is, they decide that let's have a meeting. So, typically villages used to have something called as a committee or sarpanch area. So, they all meet and they decide, let's have something. So, they all decide that let's meet. So, they meet and they start discussing. So, typically in a meeting, different thoughts will come, right? Thoughts may come that we should dig a well. Right? Dig a well. But digging a well will take time. Okay. Digging a well will take time. Somebody says, we have to build canals. Again, that will take time. Building canals will take time. Somebody says, we have to put a pipeline from another village over here. Right? That also will take time. But it will take time. So what do you think typically we do when we face with such a crisis? What do you do? Yes? Bhagwan ko pray karte. Even now, when I write a software program and that has to work at the client place, uske pehle? Because it may work well at your place, unfortunately at the customer side, it may not work. And ultimately it has to work at the customer side. Right? So they all decide we have to pray. So they all decide, we have to pray. So all is decided, we'll pray. So they say, that okay, Sunday morning, in the school, we all will assemble, and we'll pray for rains. Even now, last one or two years back, when Pune was hit by the drought, we had prayers. So they decide. So Sunday morning, everybody is there to pray. Now the senior members are on the dais, and they want to start the prayers. The serpent standing in the center sees there is a small girl in the front row. Small girl in the front row with a big umbrella standing there. With a big umbrella standing over there. The 
सरपंच को थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन हो जाता है तो यस चाइल्ड यू नो वाई वी आर हियर द गर्ल्स इज यस सर सरपंच वाई आर वी हियर द गर्ल्स इज वी आर हियर टू प्रे फॉर रेन्स यस वी आर हियर टू प्रे फॉर रेन्स बट यू आर कैरिंग ए बिग अम्ब्रेला You know what the girl answered? Yes. What did the girl answer? He strongly, she strongly believes that rain will come. The girl said, "We are here to pray for rains, and after we all pray, the prayers will be listened, and it will rain. And I don't want to get wet when it rains, so I am carrying an umbrella." When it rains, I don't want to get wet, so I'm carrying an umbrella. So, what's the moral of the story? Strong belief. Belief. What else? What else? Confidence. Confidence. Or what? Trust. Trust. Faith. Right. So, the moral of the story is: whatever we venture into. whatever we are trying to do you have to have faith you have to have trust and you have to have confidence and that is what there is saying there is a saying okay faith can move mountains faith can move mountains okay. which means almost the impossible is made possible if you have faith in it now why did i share this story 